Hi, this is Diana from DivineFractal.com, and today we're going to continue with our incredible story, The Sasquatch Message to Humanity, Conversations with Elder Kamu. I do want to give you a warning up front. This chapter is very controversial. Chapter 12 And recently, your people have seen, like mine, the intensified, fastening destruction of our last habitat and stronghold as well as for many of your tribal peoples, the western mountainous regions and the northern forested regions of this continent you call North America. But my people are seeing the devastation with our own eyes and feeling the trail of death deep in our soul. With sadness and the understanding of the deeper meaning and significance of the tragic crisis in this ongoing omnicide. This is part of a bigger agenda to control this whole planet, as on other continents, the conquest of my people by the lower lords means the control of every other being living on this home planet, and usually coincide with the control of your last tribal peoples in any given region. Secret experiments forced on some of my people, and some of your people, have also been done on this continent since decades, at an ever-increasing rate to such a large scale that deep underground military bases were built for them. As you have noticed, the tribal peoples of the northern and western regions of this continent are still familiar with my people and some interact sometimes as they still honor us in their ancient cultures. This last of our strongholds and natural habitats where we can roam free, relatively safe while keeping contact with some of your people, to keep sharing our ancient wisdom is now under severe threat. This threat of a planetary scale is loudly denounced by the warnings of your tribal peoples living there. There are also among the last of your tribal peoples who have maintained sovereignty over their lands, because the invading powers of the uncivilization of the lower lords have just reached those remote wilderness areas a few of your generations ago. So the ancient wisdom has survived there strongly. Many of your tribal peoples there also know that we have shared genetics and ancestry over the eons. We must now tell you about our own practice of hybridization that has happened on several occasions over the course of eons, but distant apart in space and time. We naturally reproduce in a similar way as your people do, except that we have kept the consciousness of interdimensional soul evolution by communicating with the souls we invite to incarnate to ensure that they are the best karmic candidates. We also reproduce much more sparsely and rarely, even less in these hostile times for our people compared proportionally with your own fast reproduction rate and much shorter lifespan than ours. In our time scale, a few offspring cover many of your generations. As we have learned from our star elders, assisting in the conception of your species as our younger relative, Alien DNA can be introduced or adapted to a planet when combined with indigenous DNA. And if this hybridization is done in a higher intention for soul and consciousness evolution, highly evolved souls can incarnate in hybrids. But my people, although we understand the process for having taken part in it, have not maintained nor possessed any technological means to intervene artificially in the course of the incarnation of souls as it was not our mission nor destiny to conceive new creatures, but the work of the selected star elders. But we know, as some of your geneticists have discovered, that your DNA and ours are 95% the same, being the star seeds of our star elders and making us elder and younger brothers, close relatives, to the point where my people and your people can reproduce naturally together and bear fertile offspring. If the concept of interspecies hybridization is still too overwhelming for your modern uncivilization to accept it, the ancient stories of your tribal peoples are filled with accounts of interbreeding between my people and yours, and many lineages have been proud to count us among their ancestral memories. This is the end of chapter 12. And hey guys, if you do some research, you will indeed find some very interesting stories from native peoples about Bigfoot. 
This is Diana from DivineFractal.com, and until next time, please be fearless, fill your heart with love, and create art. Love you guys.